Hi Pisces, welcome in. This is a love reading for Pisces placements. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If you are interested in your singles reading, the link to that is in the description box below. What's happening with Pisces spirit and the person they're dealing with? Messages for Pisces in this person. Okay, we have this Ace of Wands. Somebody's taking action here in the future. Oh, yeah, Knight of Swords. I'm getting an energy if somebody have a sudden... It's kind of like an impulsive urge to come towards you, to speak to you in the near future here. Knight of Cups. Yeah, their their emotion, their emotions are taking over them. So that's what's motivating them. The Knight of Cups is motivated by romantic feelings, okay? Or motivated by emotion. Yeah. They're realizing that they can't hold back any longer. I do see somebody wanting to connect with you. And they're making the decision to do so. We have Pisces, Gemini. Yeah, the full. It's definitely spontaneous. Okay, I feel like this person with this Knight of Pentacles here, the lovers, they definitely were moving a lot slower. Or they're moving slow right now. But there's going to be a, a spontaneous burst of energy in this person. And they're going to have... It's like... It's a need to talk to you. Yeah, I see a bold statement being made here. So this person knows your guard is up. Okay, they see you as somebody with a wall up. I feel like this person is trying to... They're definitely going to try to break down your wall here. That hermit, Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, to me feels like this person is definitely wanting to get you out of your shell. Okay, uh, I feel like a lot of you guys, you could be in hermit mode or this is an energy of really not giving them a whole lot, especially when it comes to the conversation, Ace of Swords. And this is them trying to bring you out of your shell, trying to break the ice, trying to communicate with you. We have this Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it feels to me like somebody here is ready to have some type of talk with you. We have Gemini, Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius is here as well. Let's see. Okay, Eight of Swords wanted to come out. I just feel like this person, you know, they've been stuck. And it's going to reach a point, Pisces, to where they just have this sudden, spontaneous burst of impulsive energy and they're going to act on it and then that knight of swords can definitely indicate somebody speaking without thinking somebody taking action without necessarily thinking it through because they're so motivated by their emotions here Will of Fortune. That's fixed energy. There's a big change happening in the dynamic of this connection. Okay. Yeah, Temperance. So like with the Will of Fortune, the Temperance card, it's kind of like where patience might have been needed. It's not going to be needed anymore because this person's coming rushing towards you. How does Pisces see this person? Queen of Cups in reverse. 
Some of you guys could see them as a bit selfish or arrogant. Okay, that Queen of Cups in reverse, that's interesting energy. I feel like you guys do not see them as somebody who, you know, puts your feelings first for some reason. You might, you might wonder if somebody even likes you at all. Six of Pentacles for how you feel. Some of you guys may feel like this person's giving to another situation, Pisces, okay? Uh, you know, and that could be why you're wondering if they even like you. Some of you guys might just wonder, a lot of you guys might wonder if someone breadcrumbed you, okay? Or you feel like they did. Maybe some of you guys also feel like they led you on. It depends on if this is a new or past person for you. Let's see, King of Wands. This is the way in reverse. I just really feel like a lot of you guys just did not know what was happening, where this was going. Uh, you may feel led on. I'm going to say some of you guys may feel like you were breadcrumbed or led on. And then it's like this person showed you attention, but now you're like, did they even like me at all? What was the point of this connection? Or what was the point of that? So I feel like this is somebody that you've interacted with, for sure. How do they see Pisces right now? Page of Wands. They want to break the ice. How they feel the moon. They're hiding something. What is this? The fool. So I feel like somebody's hiding the fact that they want a connection with you. That they want some type of fresh start with you. Or they're trying to hide it. They feel like they should hide it. But that full energy, it's definitely them... It's like they they show up as someone who doesn't necessarily care. Like they're trying to act like they don't care with this full energy. But their emotions being the moon, clarified by the full, this person has deeper feelings for you than they let on. They just do their best at hiding it. What do they want from Pisces? Nine of Cups in reverse. Clarify that. They want to sneak off with you. Okay, I feel like somebody's wanting to sneak off with you. They're wanting to have a conversation with you. I feel like they don't necessarily have an end game here with what they want, but there's definitely them wanting to communicate. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. This is communication about deceptive behavior. Queen of Pentacles. I gotta tell you, somebody wants you to know that you deserve better than the actions they've given you. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. This person acknowledges that you deserve better. You deserve much better. And I feel like that's what they want to tell you. They're wanting to tell you you deserve better. They're wanting to tell you you have this Queen of Pentacles energy that you possess all the qualities that anybody could want in a person. What are their next actions? Three of Cups, the Chariot. They're coming forward, guys. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, this is like a spontaneous, yeah, the Emperor. This is somebody showing up spontaneously, impulsively. Yeah, Eight of Wands. That's uh, communication. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. This person, the reason why this person is showing back up is because they want a relationship with you. Now, the Seven of Swords does tell me there has been some type of deception here. Could be them just lying about the way they feel. For some of you guys, there's further deception there. The Hierophant indicates... Uh, Hierophant, two of ones. They're coming forward because they want to be with you. That's their whole reasoning for coming forward. 
Okay, and the Eight of Wands, you're going to be getting some type of forward movement or communication, especially with the Wheel of Fortune temperance. It's like there has been a need for patience, and now there's not because somebody just spontaneously shows up. You have trust. It says transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And then this one says it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. What does this person want to say to Pisces? So it says uh, they can't reach out. They're having a hard time reaching out. I can be myself with you. And then I want to make amends with you. So someone come, goes from not being able to reach out to reaching out to make amends is what I'm getting here. All right, Pisces, those are your messages. Bye.